Hello. I'm calling regarding about your iPhone. Has it been sold? No. Who is this? I'm Joe. I'm willing to buy your iPhone. How much are you selling? As stated in an advertisement, I'm selling at 700. I need an iPhone urgently. I'm willing to buy your iPhone at 1,000. Huh? 1,000? Uh, sure. Where do you meet? Meet at Shinkang. All right. Raj? Joseph? Joseph, yes. Is this a phone? Yeah. Please take a look. I barely used it. It's still brand new. No scratches or anything. Okay. Something wrong? I forgot to bring my money out. Oh. What do we do then? I live upstairs. Yeah. Would you like to go out to my place and collect the money? Yeah, sure, sure. Don't move! Give me your phone now! Okay, okay, okay. Don't! Don't follow me! Sir, what happened here? A case of armed robbery happened inside this lift. Ilham, process the scene. Yes, sir. Is the victim okay? The victim is treated for shock by the paramedic. Other than that, he doesn't seem to be seriously hurt. Take me to the victim. I want to interview him now. Yes, sir. This way. Can you tell me what happened? I was working in my factory in Johor, and I received a call from this Joseph. He wanted to buy my handphone. You have advertised your iPhone over the internet? I was selling it at $900, and he offered me $1,200 for it. And you agreed? Of course! Who wouldn't? I could easily make a profit if it wasn't for what happened. Can you describe Joseph? He's somewhere in his late 30s, early 40s. He's medium built. He was carrying some sort of sports bag, and he used the kitchen knife to rob me. Don't follow! I'm Senior Investigation Officer Mark from the Mokyo Police Division. We are investigating a crime which had just happened at this block. Have you seen a man, medium build, about late 30s, carrying a sports bag and possibly running? Um, no, I didn't. Thank you. Hi, I'm Senior Investigation Officer Daniels from Amokyo Police HQ. We are investigating a crime that happened at this block. Did you see a male Chinese, probably in his 30s, carrying a haversack running along this area? I don't know. Okay, thank I you. Found anything? There's some prints and smudges, especially on the lift buttons. Any CCTV? There's no CCTV in this lift. I have lifted up the prints and will analyze it as soon as possible. The culprit would have ran past here when he fled the scene. Oh, there's a CCTV over there. 
I'll check with the town council on that. Please do. And also, the shopkeepers around this area would have seen him. Agree. Let's go ask them. Hi. I'm, uh... I owe Mark Liu for a mokyo for this division. It seems that no one has seen the culprit. Gather a team. We have a conference in HQ. Okay. An armed robbery had occurred at Block 333 Amokyo Avenue 1. Items taken from the victims include his iPhone and his wallet. While the victim had cancelled all his credit card, the culprit might still use them. Si Ching, contact the relevant banks and track down those cards. The victim reported that he had contacted the suspect prior to the meeting at about 4pm. Xing Long, check the victim's handphone and find out the suspect's number. From there, find out who he is and where he lives. The victim had placed his iPhone on sale on the internet and that was probably where the suspect had found him. Bunyong, sift through and gather a list of sellers selling their latest iPhone 4S model, where you can find their contact details, contact them and warn them. Jingno, what do you have? Sir, the call history on the victim phone confirmed that he had received a call from Singapore while he was in Malaysia at 12.05 p.m. The same number was placed by victim from within Singapore at 3.10 p.m. Which was about the time the victim arrived in Singapore from JB. Anything on Joseph? Joseph called victim using a prepaid SIM card that was bought by a foreigner who had left Singapore. Okay. What do you have? There are many subscribers who have poster apps to sell their iPhones. What about those selling the latest 4S model? There are a handful of them. Have you alerted them? Yes, I have. For those I was unable to contact, I have left each of them an urgent message. Good. And I have also found one interesting post to one of the apps. Show me. Beware of this buyer, a Chinese man in his 40s. He will pretend to show interest in your iPhone and ask to meet in a quiet HDB block. He will show out in a mask. Who posted that? Someone named Alex. Hi, I'm Senior Investigation Officer Mark. This is Senior Investigation Officer Bun Yong. I'm Alex. We need to talk. Can we talk inside? Sure. Come in. We understand that you posted a note about a certain buyer in his 40s. Yes. Okay, why I posted that note was because I was almost robbed by a strange fellow who offered to buy my iPhone. Did you say that you were almost robbed? Yes, I was. What happened? About two weeks ago, this Joe person offered $1,000 for a phone which I only advertised for $700. i am willing to buy your iPhone at $1,000. Huh? 1,000? Uh, sure. Where do I meet? Did you meet Joe? Yeah, kind of. We agreed to meet at about 3 p.m. at a boy deck in Sengkang. Instead, a man in a surgical mask showed up. Did this person identify himself? No. Then how do you know it was Joe? Well, we agreed to meet at that boy deck, and that place was quite secluded. If it wasn't Joe, who could it be? Sir, I got some CCTV footage of Block 333 Amokyo from yesterday afternoon. Great, let's do that. Dark colour cap, large spectacle, just as the victim had described him. And he was running in the direction of Street 31. Yes, CT, what do you have? One of the rush credit card was traced to White Sand Mall. An attempt was made to purchase an iPhone there. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Is your name Raj? Excuse me, sir. Is your name Raj? He seemed to be in a hurry to take a taxi. Any idea where he went? Well, as I was returning, Raj called me. He informed that the bank had called him to inform that there's another attempt made on the same credit card in JB at about 7.30 p.m. Which means he could have taken a taxi across the causeway. Any CCTV of the registration plate? Unfortunately, no. OK, here's what we do. Check with ICA and see if we can find anything on the suspect. 
Yes, who is this? This is Eric. I call you about your iPhone. Ah, yes, how? Okay, I buy it for a thousand dollar. A thousand? Yes. But I need a phone quite urgently. Can we meet? Five o'clock at Woodlands. Okay, uh, where in Woodlands? Woodlands Drive 16. Okay. Hi, I'm James. Eric here. Hi, nice to meet you. Here. I grant you it's in great condition. Can you turn it on for me? Sure. Hey, what are you doing? Give me your phone! Wallet! Faster! Watch! Faster! Now get out! Excuse me, I've been robbed. No, it's more than the police. Oh, uh, okay, sure. Hello, police. IT, IT, IT. IT activated. All cars to look out for a motor car. Sarah Golf Yankee. 1116 Fox Drop. A champagne colored Toyota Vios. Just committed armed robbery at Woodlands Drive 16 and fled towards Woodlands Avenue 12. Subject is male Chinese in his 40s. All cars to look out. Okay, thanks. What is it? An ITA has been activated. An armed robbery has occurred in Woodlands. Similar ammo to our case? Maybe. It's from Jurong Division. Get the details from them. Okay. Apparently, the victim claimed he remembered the vehicle's registration number. Sierra Golf Yankee 1116 Foxtrot. Have they checked the number? Yes, they have. But it's invalid. Looks like it could be a stolen vehicle or the victim had given an incorrect number. Sir, I've just received a call from one of the sellers that a potential buyer is offering to buy his iPhone for more than what he's asking. Who's the seller? Benny. The buyer? Albert. Has Benny met Albert? Benny say he hasn't, but Albert has instructed him to meet in Tampines. Where does Benny live? He lives in Aogang. OK, here's the plan. Bunyo, we'll visit Benny at his home. Daniel, gather the team and stand by for further instructions. Yes, sir. Sir, this is Benny. Hi, I'm Senior Investigation Officer Mark. Hi, I'm Benny. I understand that Albert had called to buy an iPhone at a higher price. Yes, $300 more than what I advertised. If you ask me, I definitely smell red. Listen, we need you to talk to him. Can you do it? I will try. Come, let's see. Hello? Hi, Albert. Benny here. Can we deal at Sengkang instead of Tampines? Why? Why not Tampines? Oh, because I'll be going to Sengkang, so maybe we can just deal there. But I'm already on my way to Tampines. Oh, if that's the case, we'll just deal another time. Another time? But why? Because I got to wake up early for work tomorrow morning and Tampines is kind of far for me. Okay, where in Sengkang? Uh, just give me a call when you reach Sengkang. We'll confirm the exact location. Okay. Okay, see you. How did I do? Good. Daniels, Daniels, get the team to Sengkang now. The suspect is proceeding there. Over. Okay, okay. Noted. Thanks. Gentlemen, we're heading to Sengkang. The suspect is most likely to meet the seller there. Si Jing, you go with me in one car. Jin Long and Azar, you take another car to follow us there. The suspect is more likely to be armed and dangerous. When approaching, proceed with caution. Any questions? No, no sir. sir. Okay, let's go. That's the ITA vehicle. Roving one to mark. Roving one to mark. ITA vehicle spotted along Wangkok Drive. I repeat, ITA vehicle spotted along Wangkok Drive. Roger that. Listen, follow the car. Do not intercept. I repeat, do not intercept until the car has stopped. Noted. Sir, he called. Hello? 
So, I'm in Singkang now. Where do you want to meet? Meet me at block 135 Riverview Street. 135 Riverview Street. Yes, that's right. So, we meet at Void Deck? Okay, see you. Alpha 1 to Roving 1 and 2. Go to 135 Riverview Street now. Roving 1 to Roving 2. Continue to follow the ITA vehicle. I repeat, continue to follow the ITA vehicle. Roving 1 to Mark, Roving 1 to Mark. ITA vehicle proceeding towards the same location. Driver might be our target. Right? Yes, I'm here at the Void Deck. Roving 1 to Mark. Roving 1 to Mark. ITA vehicle has stopped. All move in now. Now. Wunyong, stay with Benny. I'm going in now. Yes, sir. Please, don't struggle. Senior Investigation Officer Mark from Amokyo Police Division. Are you taping Tuan Raymond? Yes. Aza, Jing Long, search the car. Where is this? Where different number? Is this yours? Yes. What is this for? What is this for? Hey, Bing Tuan, you're under arrest for armed robbery. Si Ching, stand by and preserve the scene. Tay Beng Tuan Raymond was charged and found guilty of armed robbery, housebreaking and theft by day, using a forged vehicle registration number plate, and for consumption of controlled drugs. He was sentenced to five years corrective training and given 12 strokes of a cane. Raymond would browse the internet for iPhone sellers based in Singapore. He would call them, identify himself using different names, and lure the sellers by offering to buy their iPhones at prices higher than what they were advertised for. When a case of robbery was reported, SIO Mark and his team spared no efforts to track down the culprit. They conducted extensive interviews and seized through a lot of CCTV footage. They were able to quickly identify the model's operandi and proactively called all the sellers of a particular handphone model listed on various online sites to alert them. The efforts paid off when a seller reported that someone had offered to buy his iPhone at an inflated price. Through sheer determination and perseverance, the case was solved within 36 hours. The successful arrest was made possible because of the cooperation from members of public, like Benny, who assisted the police in solving this case. To avoid becoming a victim of robbery, the police have the following advice for you. If you are meeting someone who you do not know well, have a family member or close friend to accompany you. Arrange for the meeting to take place where there is significant human traffic. Always be alert and attentive to your surroundings. If you suspect that you are being followed or watched, remain calm and proceed to a crowded area. If necessary, call the police to seek help. Should you be a victim of robbery, 
do not resist. Remain calm and take note of the description of the culprit, notably his appearance, clothing, height, and other physical details. Also note the direction of his escape and his vehicle registration number plate, if any. We've come to the end of this episode of Crime Watch. If you have any feedback, do drop us an email. I'm DSP Julius Lim, signing off.